You saw the little red badge on your system preferences icon on your iPhone. You know what that means. It's time for an iOS update. I want to give you a few reasons why I think you should go ahead and do it. This is iOS 12.2, and I just want to highlight some of what I think are the best features of this update. It's got some pretty good stuff in it, so let's do it. The first thing I want to highlight is uh, something they've fixed that to me has been an incredible annoyance, and that is when you search in Safari, you start typing, and you see the suggested searches, but you can't just drop in a suggested search without it actually searching for that phrase like this. So this is how iOS 12.1.4 was doing it. And you can't, you know, you have to hit that and go do the search. If I know I'm going to type the full sentence, but then I want to add my own word or keyword at the end to search, I should just be able to drop in the suggested search without doing the search itself yet. That's what 12.2 has done now. So what happens is you see the same screen, same search. I can say, oh, I want this search here to be the first part. So I don't have to type all this. I hit the little arrow and it drops it in. And now I can add an extra word to that search that maybe wasn't in the suggestions. Oh, it's great. And I know it's a small thing, but man, that has driven me crazy. So I'm so glad that they fixed that. You can still tap on the actual words if you want to and, and just open that search up right away if that's the actual uh, search that you want from the suggestions. But the arrow helps you basically narrow down what you're searching for and then add additional words or phrases to your search. Now, this is a small thing, and maybe you might think, well, that shouldn't be in the top five, but this also drove me crazy, is when you would do autofill in Safari for passwords. Now, I use one password for all of my passwords, and you can use, you know, there's a number of options for that. Uh, but when you would use autofill, your username and password would drop in, but it would not enter that password. You still had to hit the enter button. It's just one more thing to do. I'm thinking, well, you've already got my, my thumbprint or face ID here. You know it's me. You've dropped the username and password, and there's, there's no additional security to having to hit the enter button. So please, just do it. <laughs> it does it now. In iOS 12.2, the username and password that you chose from 1Password or iCloud, the keychain, or uh, LastPass, or whatever you're using for saving your passwords, you don't have to enter anymore. You just thumbprint or face ID. It drops the security info in there and goes straight through. So small things make a difference. Number three, have you ever noticed that when you are airplaying video to another device, your Apple TV or, or wherever else, that while you're doing that, you can't do anything else? Because if you click away from it, the airplay stops. And I've had so many times where I'm like, well, I, I would love to go search for this or do this or that while this is playing, but I can't because I'm locked down now on airplay. Well, now you can continue to use your iPhone to browse apps or you know, whatever else you want to do without disrupting the AirPlay stream that's going on. The next one has to do with Siri. Now, I like to use Siri to get some music playing when I'm, I'm just in a hurry and, and I'm not being incredibly particular about what music I want, but I'll just say, hey Siri, play this. Hey Siri, shuffle all my Radiohead songs. I don't want any copyright infringement issues, so I'm gonna turn that down. So now it's got the um, now playing widget on the screen here. So I've got Radiohead shuffling, but if I don't want to hear that particular song from Siri, I can just go ahead and go to the next one. So before, and I didn't capture that before I updated, but before you'd say, hey, play the song, and it would say, okay, I'm doing it. And then you have this little button that says open music. There was no way to control what that first song was when it played. So I, I really like the fact that now Siri gives me the now playing widget. And I can just skip to the next song if I'd like. Uh, so that's a great improvement. A another one that I didn't realize that I wanted. Finally, the Apple TV remote control in iOS looks a lot better. Um, whenever you tap or long press on the control, now you get a full screen look. And um, it's, it's just a lot more functional than it was before. There's a search button on there, which I think is great. Um, you've got rewind and fast forward whenever content is playing. 
And I mean, it's it just is, works a lot better uh, than the other one did. And it's a definite improvement to the Apple TV remote. So that's just five of the many features that have come along with the iOS 12.2 update. I think it's well worth going ahead and running that update for your iPhone, iPad. If you like this video, go ahead and click like. Also, you can subscribe on the page. There's a couple places to do that. I really appreciate that. And I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope it helps. See you next time.